A good Saturday to everybody. Let's talk about Cody Roberts. Actually, instead, let's not. Let's talk about how laws can change attitudes, actions, and question these Wyoming weekend pastimes of whacking wolves. A lot of alliteration there. So a legislative committee uh, meeting uh, the week this week. And what did we hear? Well, many citizens there giving the committee an earful. But in the end, if you guessed nothing came out of the meeting, at least when they were there, you're right. We heard, let's go slowly, no knee-jerk reactions. And that came from the soon-to-be retiring director of Game and Fish, Brian Nesvik himself, telling the committee, quote, there's not an urgent crisis to make a change tomorrow. Going on to say, my advice would be to let the dust settle a little bit, allow time for some thoughtful discussion and consideration. So in addition with Nesvik, you know who else is not in favor of knee-jerk reactions? The Wyoming Speaker of the House, Albert Summers of Pinedale, 10 miles from Danville. You know him. He knows Cody Roberts, and he represents a district where Spirit took her last breaths. He says he's expecting Governor Mark Gordon to figure out legally what to do about it. Thing is, we've only heard from the governor publicly on X, formerly Twitter, in three tweets back from early April saying cruelty to any wildlife is unacceptable. And he was disappointed if anyone would be, to paint, would be to paint Wyoming with a broad brush. But wait, one step state rep, Liz Storer of Jackson, telling colleagues that it's too important to wait. She said to one newspaper, we're doing this because we think it's the right thing to do, she told the News and Guide. She said, I believe that to be true. Then there's Jess Johnson, the government affairs director for the Wyoming Wildlife Federation, saying, quote, this was not hunting, it was not predator, man predator management, it was an abuse, and we do have a gap in policy, and we need to fi fix that. There you heard that. Also, Bob Lanka, he retired from the Wyoming Game and Fish six years ago, now the president of the Wildlife Society, lobbying the Legislative Committee for Reform. He says lawmakers need to tweak the language in the state statute already on the books. So here's what he said, quote, the Wildlife Society suggests the legislature can consider a very narrow craft revision to statutory language so that it expressly forbids purposely running down and running over predatory animals in middle offense. Now, just the day before, Governor Gordon refused to take a position on reform, saying the legislature should take the lead. Here's Kristen Combs, who's executive director of the Wyoming Wildlife Advocate, saying it's a good sign that somewhere along the way, the governor recognizes there's a need for change and wants to see this gap closed, too. Also, we have the former director of the Wyoming State Veterinary Laboratory, as well as a retired veterinarian, referring to the problem in the state as a culture of cruelty to animals. He remembered a co-worker who told him on a Friday that he had plans for the weekend where he was going to go out and harass coyotes by snowmobile whacking for a, quote, weekend of fun. Also adding, quote, we have a statewide problem, he said, of recreational abuse of wildlife suggesting cutting all the bureaucratic red tape, saying it just takes one or two lines to amend our animal cruelty statutes. All you need to do is write that pur purposeful harassing, torturing, and killing predators by motorized vehicles is illegal in the state. Now, when Director Nesvik finished and the committee answered a few questions, that was it. No action taken. So now what? Well, the committee has tabled any possible changes to wolf policy until our next meeting in July. Now, another recent article in the Cowboy State Daily reporting a bill will be crafted in response to the torturing and killing of the young wolf pup. That's at least what this writer from the paper said. It's going to be crafted and put before the legislature next year. But what is it going to look like? Well, that remains to be seen. And remember, back in 2019, lawmakers ran a bill proposing a ban to stop the tradition of running over wolves and coyotes with snowmobiles. Where did that go? Nowhere. Okay, so also, I've listed as many of the petitions as I can in the link in my bio with this story. So if you hadn't signed them, go ahead, please do so. And if there are more, please comment down below. And don't forget, it's almost going to be a week from tomorrow that Hogs for Hope, led by Jonas Black, will be arriving in Daniel to give to animal advocates there the money that has been raised so far on GoFundMe. So wolves will be treated in the way they were meant to be treated.